Hey, what's up? Tony with All Things Manage here, the YouTube channel that gives you the reviews that matter. We're going to be racing today. Well, maybe not quite racing, but messing about with a remote control car that actually not only races on the floor, but climbs walls. And it's this, the wall climbing car. Now this wall climbing car is about roughly the size of a, an iPhone Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 8 Plus, and just a little bit thicker. Only weighs a few grams. Um, the only moving parts is, the, is actually the whole car. The wheels don't move and noth um, or, you know, nothing else moves. However, it does have um, blue headlamps and red rear lamps as well. Remote control. It's worked from this, which is the remote control. Um, it's uh, operated via um, AA, AA batteries. You can charge this car because this car has a rechargeable battery. And you can charge this car via the cable that's attached to the actual remote control, or you can charge it using a, um, a USB cable which attaches or plugs into the rear of the car. The USB cable is a bright yellow color and when you plug it in and the car needs charging, then the USB plug will actually light up orange, orangey red. But once it's fully charged, then that light goes out and the car is ready to operate. At the rear here, we have a control. One is the floor control. So if you want to drive this on the floor, you switch it to the floor control, which is one click. And then if you want to put it on the wall or the ceiling, you know, of course they've got to be smooth then you switch it over to the next switch which actually says um, the wall now obviously I'll, I'll switch this on but it does get noisy it is a noisy car here we go what happens is just put that remote control down what happens is it works as a skirt here flexible skirt and it works on a suction and uses air to, to sort of suck it or keep it to the actual wall or the ceiling. Uh, I'll demonstrate this now. Right, what we're gonna do now is switch on the remote control, which is an on-off switch here. There we go, red light comes on. The two controllers, the left is for up and down, as you can hear there. And the right control is left, uh, left and right, basically, or just literally going around in circles. So. Let's switch it over to the wall. By the way, the battery is very small on this and really doesn't last very long. It would be good if this could last a bit longer, to be honest, but you'll probably get a good 10 minutes sort of play time with this before it starts to weaken. You'll always know when it weakens because the car will start to slide down the wall a bit and it won't hold on too well and also um, the controls become sort of uh, jittery and tend not to control the car too well. Anyway, let's go, let's switch it on. The noise, as you can see, it sticks to the car. We go up, down. Turn round. <laughs> Great fun, I must admit. Okay. It goes on the floor, it doesn't work on carpets, but it does work on a smooth floor. It'll also work on the ceiling, and um, as well as the wall. This wall is fairly smooth, and, uh, or as smooth as you probably get a wall like that. And uh, it does stick to it. Um, again, as I say, it's just start it up, put it, you can feel it, stick into the wall when you actually put it on there and then of course you've got that control over the car the car is uh, nicely colored very dramatic uh, looks great albeit it's not that uh, powerful and not that small but it's great fun to use especially on these walls
The age range for this toy is around about eight to 10 years of age. Any younger and it could break fairly easily. Don't forget the battery doesn't last too long on this. You will get five to 10 minutes of good play time out of it. It doesn't take long to recharge it. As I say, you can recharge it using the USB cable or you can use the cable on the remote control and charge it from your remote control. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that uh, you've got something out of this. I'll leave the link for this toy, this card down below, together with our website at www.allthingsmanish.com and our social media pages at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Well, I must admit this has been great fun in uh, reviewing this toy and I might just go off now and uh, spend a few more minutes playing around with it. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to us and until the next time we meet, remember, all things manish.